Today, I will be assembling the Teleson Dome, coming up. Welcome to Reviews by Lucas. Today, I will be assembling the Teleson Dome for GoPro Hero 8 Black. Before we get started, hit subscribe down below if you haven't already. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let's get going. As you see here, we have all the stuff that came inside my box for the Teleson Dome for GoPro Hero 8. You have your user manual, you have a lens cleaning cloth, the pieces for the handle assembly, you have your dome itself in its protective covering, a lanyard, screws and bits for connecting it all, as well as you have some moisture wicking pieces here that go inside with your camera so that if you get any moisture inside it's not going to fog up the lens it should wick it up for you which anybody who has a gopro or hopefully any action camera would use this if you're using a protective case and those those are very handy to have but let's get going here so i'm going to open up the user manual it shows different accessories that you can have with your gopro itself from teleson when you open it up, it doesn't look like there's much for instructions in here. So this is going to be kind of me trialing it out for everyone so that we can see where the flaws are or any issues are that arise. Um, from what I understand, the first thing I'm probably going to have to put in here is my GoPro. So to do that, you just pull this tab up like so, open this little lens cover, then you grab your GoPro and you slide it in. And this is where you would put the moisture wicking pieces inside, but I'm just doing this to demonstrate how to assemble this all. So we're not going to worry about putting those in right now. And to close it up, you just put that in, clip that shut. The next I'm going to attach the lanyard, which is handy to have. I'm happy that they put it in here because if I'm going to be floating in the water somewhere, or this slips out of my hand, or I just don't feel like holding it at the time. I like to have a little strap for my wrist so it's not gonna float away if I'm not holding onto the handle. So you just slide that through, pull that in and then snug it up. And there you go, your lanyard. So I'm gonna flip that back over for now. And then next up, I'm gonna work on the handle mechanism. I'm gonna start by connecting these two pieces together. You have a little trigger here for controlling this little arm which I don't know if you can see in the camera but there's a little button here that will take the picture for you or start the filming on your camera so that's meant to depress that so that it will start filming but first we're going to connect this on which I believe it hooks on right here just got to slide that into place and then line up the holes so that we can get our screw through, which that looks like it might be it. Perfect. It is a bit of a snug fit trying to put these together. So also when you're trying to tighten it up, you have this piece here. It's like a little wrench if you want a little extra leverage to tighten this so it doesn't keep spinning at the joint for you. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that today. When I go up filming, I might adjust it a little bit better, but we're going to put this piece in here now, which is a little bit of a snug fit. There we go. And slide that up. That tab we were talking about flips over the top. Make sure that we have the hole lined up and put our second screw in. And this one here, more so than the last screw, is one that I'd use that little wrench on to tighten up so that it's not spinning around and that trigger mechanism actually is sitting over top of the button to start your filming or recording. Because last thing you want to do is think that you're pressing that button to turn your camera or the video recording on or take a picture under the water and you don't realize it didn't actually do it. And then you don't find out till you're home later. So just like that. And then you can take your protective coating off or cover off, I should say. And then 
you're ready to film you can just pull the trigger like so and it will take the shot or start the filming and it's as simple as that so it wasn't too difficult to put together um, I'm sure there's other ways you could try to put it together that might be a little bit more challenging but it seems to be self-explanatory and that's the Telesyn Dome for GoPro Hero 8. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Maybe it even answered a few questions you might have had about the Telesyn Dome. I will post a link in the description down below for those of you interested in purchasing this product. For now, hit subscribe, turn on the notification box, that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos.